What's going on everybody? It's your boy Nothing But Skills and today we're going to be talking about the Koshin Each Pro Gaming Headset. This is the G2000. It's one of your generic headsets that you can use for the PlayStation 4. But this headset is only going to cost you $23.99 and for that price you're going to think well that has to be a really cheap headset. What is it good for? This has to be one of my favorite headsets to use. I have the Platinum Sony headset and yes that headset fits a lot better around your ears. The sound quality is just a little bit better but the biggest issue I was having with that headset is I couldn't turn down the volume when I was recording on my Elgato and using the chat link cable. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So when you open the box, the headset you're going to get is going to look something like this. It's pretty simple. It's nothing fancy. Um, you have plastic size. The ear cuffs are soft. They fit pretty good around the ears. You have a padding up here. It's a foam padding so your head doesn't hurt as much. The mic adjusts a little bit, comes down. And then the cool thing about it is attached to this cable. It's not wireless, but you can raise the volume right here. And then it has the mute and unmute button. So you have two cables at the end. You have the cable that goes into either your controller if you're not recording on the Elgato system like I do if you're just using it to play video games you just plug this right into your controller and the headset will work just fine it won't light up but it will just work just fine just plugging this in now if you want the headset to light up blue I'm gonna plug it in right now so you can see what that looks like So as you can see, it lights up blue. It's pretty cool, but the one thing is that cord needs to plug into your PlayStation and it's so short that you need to get a USB extender from Amazon or eBay, wherever you like shopping. So you don't have to be right next to your PlayStation. It's just too hard to have that plugged into your controller and plugged into your PlayStation at the same time. So most of the time, I'm never even running with the light on but it works perfectly fine without having, this is just um, just to have blue LEDs if, if that's what you want. So if you do want it to light up while you're playing video games, make sure you get a USB extender. Now the one thing I do like that I didn't like on the PlayStation was on the PlayStation headset, the Platinum headset, when you're plugged into your Elgato, there was no way for you to lower the volume or raise the volume. On this one there is, you have this little cable so when I'm recording I can either lower or raise it so that way I can hear the background noise or however. Yes, the PlayStation Platinum has more features when it's not plugged in to your Elgato, but I needed a headset that was good for recording and then good for playing too. So for $23.99, you can't beat it. I would recommend this headset to anybody. I just took a chance on it. I saw it on Amazon. It said it was the number one bestseller. What I'll do is I'll put a link in the description box down below. If you guys want to go buy it, I'd recommend getting it, especially if you guys are trying to record on Elgato and still have the features of lowering how loud music or gameplay is coming through your headphones. You can just use this simple button right here. It just scrolls down and you're good to go, guys. So remember, for $23.99, I would have to say this is the best PlayStation 4 headset on the market right now for the price. Go check it out. If you don't like it, you can always return it to Amazon. I think for $23.99, you're not gonna be disappointed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and drop a comment down below. Thanks for supporting my channel, guys.